Welcome to Rob's solar trailer video series. You might have heard that solar panels are just as effective on cloudy days than on sunny days. I wanted to check this out for myself. So on my way back home from a camping trip to St. André Avelin, I encountered a variety of cloud conditions over a period of about six hours. This is a report on how much power my solar panel produced over that day. The solar panel which is mounted on my camping trailer has a nominal output of 100 watts. While the bike is underway, the panel is parallel to the ground and can't be tilted to the sun. This test was done in the Utahway region of West Quebec at 45 degrees latitude on September 6. I started off at 9.50 in the morning under a very heavy cloud cover. Lo and behold, the 100 watt panel was putting out a measly 6 watts. At that rate, it would take 120 hours to fully charge a completely empty battery like mine. The angle of the sun to the horizon was 42 degrees. Then, two hours later, at 10 minutes to 12, the cloud cover had thinned out and a few sun rays were trying to pierce through. The solar panel was then giving me triple what it was giving me at the start, 17 watts. But that's not very much. And as expected, at that time of the day, the angle of the sun to the horizon was at its highest, 51 degrees. A little later, at a quarter after one in the afternoon, it was part sun, part cloud, and the panel was giving me 22 watts. Here the angle of the sun to the horizon was 48 degrees. At last, at 2 o'clock, the sun had come out in all its glory, giving me a blue sky. Under these conditions, the panel was churning out a more respectable 67 watts, even though the sun's angle had descended to 42 degrees. When I finally reached home at 3.30, it was still a bright sunshine, but the sun was much lower in the sky at only 30 degrees above the horizon. And correspondingly, the solar panel was giving me only 18 watts. So here are my conclusions. First, the thicker the cloud cover, the less a solar panel will produce. I guess you could say that the production of power is inversely proportional to the thickness of the cloud cover. Second is that if your e-bike relies on electricity from the sun, too bad, you ain't going nowhere. Third, the angle of incidence of the sun on the panel is very important. If it's at all possible, you can gain a lot by angling the panel to, to face the sun perpendicularly. I'm going to talk more about this in a future video. Thank you for watching.